Researchers in epistemic cognition, or to give it its other name, personal epistemology, have described different categories of thinker. A tripartite division is common, describing naive, multiplist and sophisticated thinkers. For brevity's sake, I'll give only a very rough outline. This person sees information as being right or wrong in black and white terms. Things that are right are the ones said by authority, for example, a parent, teacher, textbook, the government. If the authority says that the information is correct, the naive thinker accepts that as the only justification needed. Naive thinkers do not see a meaningful difference between knowledge and information, and they believe that knowledge is handed down to students by teachers and textbooks. The student's task is to understand that information. Please see my video on understanding to see why this is a problem. In this view, information that is correct is always correct. The truth never changes. The naive thinker may be aware of other information that is different from that given by their authority. Other information, however, is wrong. A multiplist thinker believes that there is no right and wrong way to look at the world and that a single truth can never be known. They have realised that there are so many opinions in the world and that no one has the right to force anyone else to believe their opinion. According to multiplist thinkers, everyone has the right to believe any of the multiple truths that exist in the world. Many students feel a great sense of freedom, of newly found empowerment as a, as a multiplist thinker. The truth of the world is no longer something that adults hand down to them. Such students are able to see many truths and find one for themselves. There are two forms of multiplist thinker. The first excels in critical thinking. Two or more opinions are compared and the writer argues very skillfully for one opinion. However, the writing is often a collection of simple true-false reasons that support one position. The potential truth of the wrong opinion is not developed well, if at all. The second type of multiplist thinker may have trouble arguing for one opinion over another. They can show why two or more opinions are equally strong, but they have great difficulties making a judgement that prioritises one opinion over another. The fact that scientists, philosophers, religious theorists and so on cannot prove that their beliefs are 100% correct has led multiplist thinkers to believe that any belief is acceptable. Sophisticated thinkers, on the other hand, understand the error in this. They accept the contingency of knowledge at the same time as accepting that in any given situation there are reliable ways to judge and justify which claim is likely to be more correct than another. Another name for this kind of thinker is an evaluatist. Sophisticated thinkers understand that truth needs to be justified, to be argued for, to be understood in context. The processes in knowing involve personal reflection, leading to a sense of knowing that continually assesses, evaluates and balances external information with internal existing knowledge, rationalisation and a clear view of one's subjective biases. In other words, a sophisticated thinker is aware of and can articulate a justification of their truth. Baxter McGolder called her highest level a contextualist thinker. Contextualists include not only the base facts, but a critical analysis of the strengths and weaknesses of those facts, alongside a sense of reflection. The word con means with, so contextualist sophisticated thinking aims to include as much relevant other information, opinions, knowledge, and so on that come together with the text.